Always value and treasure your own life. When stepping onto the path of spiritual practice, you need to have a deeper understanding of life as a monastic disciple as well as the human experience in this world. I believe that if you always uphold fundamental ethics in your human life, transitioning into the path of the Dharma and entering the life of meditation will be much smoother. Even though you may still encounter numerous challenges and hardships in the worldly realm, Today, I would like to remind you of a couple of things so that you can cultivate a simple life for yourself, for you to have a deeper understanding of human experience, its values, and significance. I always emphasize the importance of cherishing your own life, even though we know that life is transient, like fleeting dust. Reflect and consider that compared to the vast universe, humanity, or what we often call human beings, is incredibly tiny. Therefore, living as a human is not an easy task. Merely having a complete human body is challenging, and being a conscious individual in life, understanding spirituality, having faith in Almighty God, and walking the path of goodness is even more challenging. When you possess these qualities, maintaining them intact becomes exponentially more difficult, especially because, at present, you still live in the human realm and must endure the natural laws of creation, such as birth, aging, illness, and death. Along with these, you face anxieties, sorrows, pains, despair, struggles, jealousy, and anger in human life. Therefore, it is crucial for you to value your life as an ordained practitioner even more in the present circumstances. You also observe that many people are not born into this world under easy circumstances. Some may not even get to fully experience their human life before passing away. Moreover, unfortunate individuals have to endure the onslaught of various cruelties and tragedies, whether due to illness, poverty, or physical disabilities. Human life is indeed challenging. In your current serene life as a monastic practitioner, you must live in a manner deserving of it. You should be individuals who possess complete ethics, compassion, and loving kindness. As you can see, the majority of people in the world are unable to achieve this. They live extremely cruel and ruthless lives indulging in selfish and immoral paths. They are consumed by desires, engaging in violence and harming one another, or getting lost in substances like drugs, wealth, and sexual pleasures. Their brutality sometimes surpasses that of wild animals. For example, take a tiger. It is a wild and ferocious animal, yet it only uses its fierceness to attack prey when hungry. On the other hand, as humans, 
even when not hungry, we can still be cruel, killing other creatures, sometimes even smaller than ourselves. Ideally, we should lead lives that are more meaningful and benevolent, rather than ones marked by brutality. Therefore, it is essential for you to reflect upon this when looking at the human realm. My beloved children, consider how numerous lessons on ethics have been taught to humanity by the wise. From countless lifetimes to the present day, all enlightened masters, saints, and bodhavistas have consistently taken turns descending into the mortal realm, immersing themselves in the human world to transform and improve humanity. They assist us in reaching a more perfected and sublime way of life. In parallel with this, in the physical realm, there are thousands, even millions or billions of different philosophies and religions presented for us to learn. However, very few of these philosophies and religions can help us cultivate profound understanding, enhance intellect, and foster inner morality. The majority of these philosophies and religions tend to lead us into suffering through superstitious beliefs, outdated rituals, or drive us deep into dark desires, striving for power, wealth, material possessions, and indulging in the hedonistic lifestyle of the worldly realm. A specific example of this is evident in the present era of advanced modern science. Some philosophies have led the majority of young people and individuals towards a path of decadence, indulgence, and addiction to cigarettes, drugs, and other vices. These ideologies guide people into a lifestyle and mindset that rejects belief in divine beings, skepticism towards a higher power, placing sole trust in practical scientific evidence, asserting that this is the only truth. This is considered a virtue in their perspective. Among the religions present in the world today, many have led the majority of our human population to become slaves to the rituals of worshiping deities, demons, or making vows. They employ a certain mesmerizing power that prevents individuals from discovering their true selves and realizing the inherent intellect and Buddha nature within. Therefore, the lives of those individuals often remain ensnared in suffering and hardship as a consequence of this influence. In our world's history, there have been two great enlightened masters who have appeared. The first is Lord Buddha Shakyamuni a spiritual leader of a religion who brought to humanity a lofty spiritual path. He guided us to transcend worldly desires that lead to greed, attachment, and delusion. He elevated our consciousness and helped us recognize our true selves. This is an immensely profound teaching of Lord Buddha Shakyamuni, also known as Siddhartha. He was a prince who abandoned the luxurious palace, seeking profound wisdom to guide humanity during that era with the sole purpose of bringing inner enlightenment to people. All the extraordinary efforts made by him, from renouncing the royal life of a highborn prince, were directed towards one goal, to find the path of awakening, to guide sentient beings, and to liberate them from the entanglements of desire. He aimed to offer humanity 
a life of happiness, peace, and ultimate liberation. And the second great enlightened teacher is Lord Jesus Christ. He too descended to the earthly realm, proclaiming himself as the Son of God and delivering the message of God to admonish humanity of that time. However, due to the hearts of sentient beings and the resistance, envy, arrogance, and desires of many religious factions during that era, they did not want him to propagate the teachings he brought to humanity. Hence. The tragic event occurred when they crucified him and sought to eliminate him. In the eyes of the wise, human life is incredibly precious. The enlightened beings consistently come to remind sentient beings to cherish and cultivate a life that is increasingly virtuous and sacred. However, only a few sentient beings truly pay attention to these teachings. Therefore, throughout the world, suffering prevails. Often, when someone presents their philosophy, it tends to encapsulate their own desires. Only the enlightened beings who have attained awakening can dedicate their entire lives to benefit humanity without any consideration for personal gain. Therefore, contemplate all the teachings that the two great enlightened teachers of the past, Lord Buddha Shakyamani and Lord Jesus Christ, have imparted. Determine for yourselves which is the true path that can lead sentient beings out of the passions and sufferings in a human life. That is also what I often remind you every day so that you can maintain a better life, so that your meditation can delve into concentration more easily, so that you can recognize the transient nature of worldly affairs, the ocean of suffering and the cycle of human existence, and to realize that this world is just a temporary resting place for you. Let's conclude here. I hope all of you, whether you are a Ruma monastic disciple, light and sound practitioner, or anyone on the path seeking some philosophy to bring your life to the shores of happiness and peace, can better understand these teachings of mine. Ruma has come to this world with a singular purpose, to convey the message of the universe, of Almighty God and the Buddhas, Buddha visas, and to all sentient beings. Regardless of your affiliation with any religion in the world, remember one thing. Being human is challenging. Human life is extremely fragile. Nothing is easy. If you wish to lead a life of integrity, it becomes even more challenging. You will have to pay with much suffering and pain in the hope of achieving that. Therefore, Always cherish it, for it is precious. Ruma will conclude here. Though my words are brief, they carry a message from the universe. I hope that all of you will contemplate and understand it deeply.